Hello, loyal viewers. Did you miss me? Well, I am Megamind. I have returned for my brand new movie, the long-awaited sequel, Megamind vs. the Doom Syndicate, and I am so excited for you all to see this. I got two people to talk to right now. Anyways, I know you all like this movie, and I'm gonna show it all to the world. Let's go. Hey, guys. I see you two here. Have you seen my movie? Uh, he has... Uh, really, sir? Uh, how was my, one of my most magnificent movies out there? Uh, I'm gonna review it right now. Oh, interesting. I wish you would have great things to say about this movie. Yeah, great things. Well, there's no way people will say that this movie is bad, right? I mean, look at you two. People are praising this movie left and right. And there's no way it would be bad, right? Well, I'm going to be going now. I'm sure you'll enjoy this review soon enough. I'll be back here anytime soon. Anyways, I gotta go. See ya. Now the CD needs me. Woo! Who the hell is that guy? Honestly, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna go start with the review right now. Uh, okay, you you go have fun now. Yeah, thanks. Okay, okay. Okay. Well, I'll just say this out of the way. Um, the obvious things out of the way. What are my thoughts on my first Mega movie? But to be honest, I will say this. I only saw the movie once a long time ago, and I honestly don't remember that much besides memes and clips all over the internet. So, but what I can tell when I first saw the movie, I liked it. That's all you know. And then we found the long awaited sequel that was announced like two years ago, and then afterwards, when we first saw the trailer like almost a month ago, it went completely downhill afterwards. So, and now the movie was released on Peacock the same day as Dune 2, so. Uh, now we have to review that movie, we gotta have to do this one, since I'm pretty sure we have missed a lot of movies, we need to like, at least review the movies that are coming out soon, so we might as well make it up to you with these movies. So anyways, uh, I'll just get it out of the way, let's, here's our, my review of Doom, Mega Man vs. Doom. Well, I think we're gonna have to be here for a while, so, anyways, first thing, let's talk about the story. Well, guys, oh, big, uh, loyal viewers, uh, who, uh, how did you get out here? Uh... I have my ways. I'll see you soon. Woo! This is gonna be annoying, is he? I'm gonna make this short because uh, there's not a lot to say about this movie, so I will explain it short. And we're sure what everyone else has already said about this movie. So, anyways, what's the story? Uh, Mega Man's a hero, and usually it does recap the first movie, so basically that's all you know. But then afterwards, uh, he's a hero now, and then he saves the world, and then he realizes there's a Doom Syndicate, and we just realize, why is he good now? He should be evil, and then what's that? we're gonna destroy the Metro City right here. While he's there, he's like, oh yeah, good idea, and then he realizes, no, I don't want to do this, and moving on, and then we got some other characters, and then they save the day at the end. Honestly, what are my thoughts on the story? Um. I will say this. Did anybody expect a direct to streaming movie to be good? No. And what did we get? I'll tell you in one word. The story is boring. I really was not paying attention throughout the entire thing. And I wasn't doing that with Winnie the Pooh and I still I was still able to understand that stupid story, but this one I just God, like, who the hell cares? Like, do I care about those guys? Do I care about the city? No, I don't fucking care. I don't give a crap about anybody in this boy. Honestly, the store bores me so much. I was just watching Fast and Furious instead. Instead, it's memes also. So I decided, oh, wow, we got all, and I'll just say it out of the way. Since the series was also released on the same day, I'll just say this. This is legit like The Return of Jafar. Let me explain. The Return of Jafar was released, it was teased as like the sequel to Aladdin. Like this one was the sequel to Megamind. And when the series came out with Aladdin, that was like a few weeks ago, later, or something like that, I don't know. That was just more like a pilot, because we didn't know it was. It was just judged as a movie, and I realized it was like, oh, the, oh, the Return of Jafar was basically just the long, uh, the move, is this a show? Oh, what the hell. Anyways, after that, we got, and then we got this, so, uh, so this is what I can safely say. This is what this is. 
Um, uh, this is basically the return of Jafar of DreamWorks, where it's a direct to streaming movie and it's also not a good one. So, and uh, sorry, making it so goddamn boring. Yeah, got on the Senate. So overall, I would just think that it's just goddamn boring. The story's boring. That's all you need to know. Okay. Hmm. I don't think the Doom Syndicate is going to enjoy this, but I do know the animation can be good, right? Um, coming from my direct to DVD standards, I think you are going to reach to our levels now. Man, yeah, whatever. I think. One of my thoughts on the animation is basically the same one as everyone. It's stay with me everyone. The animation is a downgrade to the original. Wow. What a direct a direct a streaming movie that has a downgrade animation? Who could have guessed that? I mean Return of Four had that. I need to stop comparing that movie. We are wait. So anyways, uh yeah, that's basically well technically the animation studio was for Dreamworks animated television at the end of the movie. It's not the Dreamworks logo that you see on trolls and puss and boots like earlier and Ruby Kelman and other stuff. Well honestly you were expecting great animation for an animated television series? No. What do you expect? A downgrade? Yes. Well I mean what the hell do you want me to say? It's honestly uh, god damn man. Eh? And I mean when the say again but people are just like oh yeah that guy yeah, think it. Oh so there's like rumors that all of this had to be done in a week so that's a different story, so I think uh overall I think this might be a little bit hard to do, so honestly, like there's really not much to say. I I literally what the hell do you want me to say about the animation? Everyone's already said it, it's a downgrade, like what the hell do you want me to say? It's the same goddamn ads awful. It looks cheap, it looks like it's from someone else, I'm pretty sure it was. But anything else, yeah, it looks shit. Well, no, it's and it may, it's not DreamWorks the mo ones in movies it's the ones that made the animated shows like the Megaman rules is basically the same animation if you're expecting the series what do you expect that's ah, so don't expect uh, the animation to be great if it was going to be teased as it was said and announced that all oh, the sequel would just be on the peacock rather than theaters if it was in theaters with that animation i think people would get more angry about this so oh, yeah, overall, I just think they had mission shit, but what the fuck do you expect me to say, huh? Is it just me, or is this reveal getting shorter and shorter lately? We've been dragging things out a lot, so I think it's for the best that us characters need to start um, shortening everything down. Hmm. What about Sirius, though? Probably never gonna happen. Hmm. Okay. Follow this thing out of the way. No voice cast return. I mean, Will Ferrell is busy with Despicable Me 4. What do you expect now? You thought he was going to return in this? And no, I'm working with Despicable Me 4. I'm more interested in that rather than doing this. So, whatever. So anyways, what are my thoughts on the characters? Let's just go through all of them. Uh, first off is Magnemite, which uh, obviously you know what a downgrade. Oh, nothing to say. And also, he's kind of, just kind of there. Like, uh, I don't want to do this. Like, man, I feel like going evil. I'm doing more good. And then also, oh, no, yeah, he's just there. Anyways, now we got the minion. Also, his name is now Chamba. Because, uh, for the, the reason they gave him that movie was an ice cream company with that name gave him a season to say not because of his name. Um, just like what SML got a season assist from Nintendo, that's why he can't call their N Nintendo games, like Mario is Marvin, yeah, even though he, my, Nintendo, ha why is not Nintendo sued Mario Lopez then, if he has Mario in his name, get him, sue him, actually don't, <laughs> whatever, anyways, he's just, point. he's just not needed in the movie, he can just get rid of him and nobody would care. Here. He's just there to fix toilets or something like that. And also, somehow turned into a really shitty um, diner into a donut shop. So, yeah, we do it. Anyways, we get some other... Yeah, and there's also Roxanne, the, the newscast um, from the last movie. Yeah, she's kind of there. Just why, she's just plainly doing everything the Mega Man does. And really like, I don't want to do this. And they're like, oh, come on, let's do it. Like, okay, let's we'll just do it. Just blend in. Roll with it. Yeah. And then uh, let's just get the Metro Man is not in the movie. And Titan is I'm sure he's pretty sure dead in the last movie. Again, I haven't seen him in like a decade. So goddamn on it was only once. 
kind of like that AMC poster on uh, that Mega Man poster, which they did took it down. So I kind of wish they did it because they should put that like a historic landmark. Like you will go to that theater just to see it. Like now they just took it down because of that trailer, which is kind of coincidence. So anyways, uh, I'm moving on. Uh, let's just talk about yeah, the new characters. Um, the girl. Uh, I don't remember her name, and I also really don't care about her because she's like, oh, I'm here to. I'm from. I'm working with the uh, Mega Man's Man Club. I'm pretty sure that's the internet because that's uh, everybody else in that place. And I, oh, what do you? Uh, yeah, I'm here because I want to see all the action myself, and I also want to join in the action. Yeah, she's annoying. Frill is not needed in the movie at all. You get rid of her and then nothing would get, nothing would happen. So anyways, and then we got the Jun Syndicate guys. They exist. That's all you need. Oh yeah, there was a post credit scene in the end of the movie, so uh we'll just talk about that later. Oh well, anyways, um uh, let's talk about them all. Um the weather girl, um she's just like not like following up to her name, like all the way she doesn't really do weather stuff until like near the end of the movie and then there was the rock one the the lava monster one and then uh, which uh i think it uh, actually like, would have been better as like a second villain or the and then there's nighty night which that was like the only one i know the name so because it's night and that's funny because ha and mm, he's just there eh doing better if you actually is something and then we have the mine the mine is freaking stupid just really stupid and also, mine does mind tricks. Mind fail, and that's it. They just exist. So overall, the characters kind of suck. But let's talk about a post credit scene. Uh, it's spoiler. I don't care. Um, this it's just those four. And then someone broke in, and then it's to see up is like, oh, Mega Mind is betrayed us evil people. So we're gonna have a revenge on him. And it's just a brain dude. I'll call him Mega Million or something like that. And uh, I think I don't remember him. In, I don't remember him in the first movie. So I don't know. It must have been in that shorts. But in Doom, yeah, I don't think it was in there. So anyways, um, yeah. So I'm pretty sure that's for the series. And no, we don't review the series anymore, but I think maybe one good show we can do that, but that's another story. So anyways, uh, overall, the characters just stuck now. That's stupid now, and downgrades, and mostly pointless. That's all you need to know. Oh no. What have I done? I didn't realize it would be that bad. Oh, I must... I am, must have been evil, a betrayal, the good people that love my movie. So overall, I think... I will thank you for this. I ain't got to go somewhere to see if they can make a third movie about this. See ya. Woohoo. Okay, man. I want to say overall, man. Yes, everyone has said it and everyone says it. It's the same goddamn opinion. So what the hell you want me to say? Well, as someone who saw this, I have some thoughts. Overall, Mega Man vs. the Doom City is basically the return of too far of DreamWorks to streaming movies. And I really more, I find that worse than the, actually worse than the, uh, Return of Jafar. Cause the story is fucking boring. They had the most boring story and the downgrade animation, well obviously the animated television just like with the Return of Jafar. And then the characters are most of the new ones are just pointless and don't even look like actually better or better than the original or improve the original. So yeah, my recommendation is probably watch the series and think the first series is better. There are some people who are saying, but the movie is shit, so. Yeah, so anyways, uh, overall, and one of my regular is the people that love this are probably, don't want <laughs> they're probably saying, yeah, don't watch this, it's not even worth your time. And, and I guess I guess I'm watch it, because watch it, I, if I just, yeah, if I see the movie, you all gotta see it, because you can't believe on something in the internet, let's see something yourself. So anyways, what is my rating for this movie? I'm only giving this a 3 out of 10. I would have given lower, but for, uh, I think by DreamWorks Animated Television, not DreamWorks themselves, I'm, on, I'm not gonna be like way too fucking harsh on them. I'm pretty sure everyone else is already gonna be harsh like them, so expect some death threats from them after this was made. So anyways, uh, um, yeah, um, so anyways, um, at least I got one movie here to catch up, so those two movies to catch up, because we missed a lot, so, yeah, I guess, uh, I gotta go now, so. I'm gonna have a talk with Vicky after this. Yeah, you ever notice it just became night all of a sudden? I don't know, this was short. Yeah, whatever. So, I think it's time for uh, DreamWorks to just lay now. Did you just announce a trailer, trailer for the next movie, The Little Robot? Oh, that movie? Great. 
I got now I gotta review this. And you know what's kind of coincidence that uh I'm reviewing a DreamWorks movie and then afterwards, a week later, there's gonna be another one in the works. Yeah, I wonder where he is nowadays. I'm pretty sure he's gonna be off somewhere. Yeah, whatever. Wow, I really am evil. I thought people would love me for being good, but I think my evil self is my true self. So, at least I'm okay with this. Now, whoever will be against me, bring it on. Oh, now that I have anything to say about her. Oh my god, is that a... Oh, 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 oh